I'm going to demonstrate how to fit a bootstrap forest model or generally known as the random forest model in jump. To fit the random forest model, I have again considered the bank marketing data. And if the y variable is of continuous type, jump will recognize it as a regression problem. If it is of con uh, categorical type, jump will recognize it as a classification problem. Go to analyze, choose predictive modeling and choose bootstrap forest. If you have not created the validation column, please make a validation column before uh, making a bootstrap forest tree. Now here for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to choose only three variables as uh, or four variables as the X variables, age, marital status, education and credit default, uh, which is represented by the default here. Again, remember uh, that uh, this is a bootstrap forest is nothing but it's an ensemble learning technique in which multiple decision trees will be made and in decision trees we do not need uh, dummy variables we can directly work with the categorical variables so I'm just I have just selected the original categorical variables now make sure informative missing is checked I'm going to provide the validation column here and click OK now here it will ask for certain parameters what should be the number of trees uh, rule of thumb says 150 number of terms sampled per split in jump uh, sorry in decision tree uh, or in sorry in random forest the decision tree will be created for every bootstrap sample and in each bootstrap sample whenever the decision tree will be created at every split it will not consider all the variables okay here we have considered four variables it will not consider all the variables as a splitting candidate. It will select only subset of variables as a splitting candidate. This was discussed in the class. So what should be the number of those uh, subset, uh, what should be that subset of variables? How many variables should it consider randomly? So a rule of thumb says it should be square root of the original number of variables uh, considered in the making model. For example, here we considered four variables, so square root of four is two. So number of terms sampled per split is t 2. So what jump will do whenever it is going to make a split in the decision tree for a given bootstrap sample, it will randomly select any two terms, any two x variables and it will check which x variable is uh, at which particular split will be leading to highest reduction in the impurity. Now bootstrap sample rate 1 minimum split per tree. Uh, we are going by default 10 that means at least 10 split should be made in the tree maximum split per tree at how many uh, what is the maximum value of those splits that the decision tree can make and bef after that it will stop uh, fitting the model and minimum size uh, split so for example let's say if in any node if there are uh, less than five number of data points the decision tree will not split that particular node and if the number of data points are greater than or equal to 5, then only it will split the node, otherwise not. So here you can play with this number. Again, we are going by the default. Click on er early stopping, make sure you uncheck it. Uh, so how the random forest model will be built? So 150 different bootstrap samples will be created. And for those 150 bootstrap samples, one uh, we will be fitting the decision tree. Now remember one thing that uh, random forest does not prune the decision tree the idea here is that you make the full tree but do not uh, prune it and some may question that it may lead to overfitting but this thing okay number of terms per sample per split it is not actually leading to the overfitting the reason is that you are going to select only subset of variable at every split so it's not uh, there are very less chances of overfitting second thing why do we sample only subset of terms the reason is that in every tree i mean we want every tree to be independent of each other and that is how you are going to create an independent tree a unique tree so that every tree is unique and also it removes uh, let's say uh, if there's one variable which has high influence on the y variable and in case you are always selecting the sub uh, sample of variables for each split there are high chances that you may omit that particular variable which has high impact on the y value so that will not be appearing frequently uh, so th in this way it uh, you know leads to the uh, 
good fitting and uh, takes care of the overfitting. Now click on OK. It will quickly fit the data. And as you can see that this is your uh, decision tree model or sorry random forest model. The confusion matrix are given here. Then you can click on this uh, red triangle, click on ROC curve, click on red triangle, decision threshold and you can actually play with this to find out the optimal cutoff probability point as per uh, your requirement. Then under validation also you can uh, choose all these things. So it is recommended to use the validation for uh, checking the optimal uh, cut cutoff probability. Similarly for the test data you will get what is the performance here. Under this red triangle you can also uh, choose the options like show trees and uh, save column where you can save the random forest model. So that's it, that, is, that is how you fit a random forest model in Jump.